Hey guys, welcome back to my second tutorial. It is another Dragon Ball inspired tutorial, but at the same time, I try to create a little bit of my own look. At least, uh, let's say, a little bit more realism. Try to stay true to that Dragon Ball effect, and at the same time, try to create more realistic. All right, let's uh, check it out. So you can see a lot of stuff is happening inside this ball. A lot of detail, a lot of swirly effects, a lot of fractal noise layers. I only used fractal noise to make this effect, so that's going to be interesting. Alright, let's get into this. I've got my composition ready. I'll be going to work with 24 frames per second in 1080p. And I will be working in 32 bits per channel. Alright, I'm going to be making a black solid. I'll call this energy. And let's add a fractal noise layer. So noise and grain and then fractal noise. And again with this effect, it's just about getting the result that you want. Getting the look that you want. So just play around with it. For me, I'm going to set the fractal type to dynamic progressive, invert. For my first layer, I'm going to make these edges as thin as possible and really bright. And let's alt click on the evolution and let's set an animation time star 1000. So we get this really wild look. Before I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to make multiple layers. I'm going to add all CZ glass. Let's drop that in. Go to surface. Set the bump map to none. And let's set the displacement to negative 100. I'm going to add a CC sphere now. CC sphere. Let's drop that. I'm going to set my footage off for now. I'm going to do the shading and I'll set the ambient to 100 so that everything is visible. And I'll just turn everything else off. Play around a little bit around with the size. For now, this is fine. All right, so now that we got our kind of a ball set up, like it's starting to take shape. Let's duplicate this. Let's solo this one. Let's turn off the CC sphere for now. And I'm going to play around and make this, give this a, a little bit of a different look. I'm going to make these edges more brighter. Or more larger, I should say. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to drop it below. CC sphere back on. Set this to screen. For now, we're not going to see too much results. But when everything ties together, we, got, we should see a lot more difference. So I'm going to duplicate this again. Turn this one off. And for this one, I'm going to layer. Solid settings, and I'm going to make this a white one. And the reason why I'm going to make it white is I'm going to turn down the opacity of the fractal noise a little bit for this last one, so that if we look here, that the effect doesn't uh, is not too transparent. Like we want, don't want it to be too transparent. I don't want to be able to see through it too much. So I'm going to turn that down for 50% now, and again a little bit with the contrast so I'm going to turn this off again maybe I make it even bigger maybe the brightness a little bit more down let's see sphere set this to screen as well now we got all these multiple layers 
Korea got already a lot of detail inside this orb. We can play around with some of these settings and do it a little bit more even. We're starting to get a result. This is like, this is our, the core for our energy ball. All right, we're going to pre-compose all of this now. So pre-compose and I'm going to call it energy ball. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up a little bit. And I'm going to mask it out. Feather it a little bit. So that these edges don't look too harsh and we get more detail on these edges here. Make it a little bit less, 70. And let's follow this up by adding a turbulence displays and the distort section. Let's set this to 20 and let's set this to 30. And let's alt click on the evolution and set time star 700. Let's see what this looks like. So we're starting to get this unstable ball effect. Cool. Next up, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Fast Blur. And now I'm going to make these light rays like this Dragon Ball light ray kind of effect to throw it over it. Let's set the blending mode to screen. Let me just the uh, opacity maybe a little bit. Another thing that I'm going to do is if I'm going back in this composition, I'm going to select this top layer, Control C, and Control V and bring it to this layer. I'm going to drop it between this. Let's turn this off. I'm going to increase the radius just a little bit of south these soft edges. Just to scale a little bit, what I'm doing is maybe in, like kind of create this energy kind of field around this orb. Like not only soft stuff inside the orb is happening, but around it as well. Make it look powerful. Maybe a little bit more visible. Less bright. And let's duplicate it and make this one maybe a little bit bigger. Let's go to the rotation and just offset this a little bit so that it looks a little bit different. Maybe adjust the scale. Make it a little bit less harsh than the other layer. And let's layer precompose this as well. Let's call this energy ball again because this is my tutorial and I can do that. <laughs> so basically this is our effect. The effect all of it is done by now. So what we're going to do now is maybe add a glow and color correct it. And let's of course see what it looks like in the actual footage. So let's set this to screen and turn on the footage. And let's put it in place. Of course the edges are a little bit too bright to me, but, but I'm going to make it bigger. Maybe it's too big for but for me it works. Maybe for me, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And maybe for put this a little bit back <laughs> all right let's color correct this i'm going to add physical palette cc or i mean <laughs> pc color vibrance it's a free plugin from physical palette it's a really 
it's just really it's yeah it's just really good overall let's let's just say that it's really uh powerful not only with coloring but adjusting the brightness for your effect and just messing around with the uh, with the look of your effect as well so i'm going to make mine blue because i like blue maybe don't make the color stand out too much don't want it too bright but maybe a little bit and now i'm going to add a stylized glow which is my screen to make it not too bright and let's see what the final result looks like so here we have it we have created this really unstable powerful looking energy ball effect and that is it for this tutorial i really hope that was able to help some of you guys out well, I, I apologize if i wasn't always too clear about some stuff like my english is not too perfect sometimes i just get stuck but i still try to explain it for you guys either way so um yeah just my apologies for that Feel free to check out my channel, consider subscribing, check out my Facebook in the link. That would make me very happy. And I'll see you guys next time.